Joining us right now from League One Ontario, a women's team from Woodbridge Strikers, Christabel Oduro. Christabel, welcome. Hi. Nice to... Thanks for having me on here. Pleasure's all mine. Christopher, let's talk about that game Friday night. I was there calling the play-by-play, -play, and I was impressed early on this season by Woodbridge, but I was overly impressed Friday night. The way you guys moved the ball, uh, the way that everything was uh, just so uh, well-precisioned, and it looked like you guys were having fun, but it was a job at hand. Talk about taking care of business versus Darby. Um, it was a good game, I thought. We didn't actually have all of our starters there, but um, we have a lot of depth players, and I thought they stepped in and did a really great job. And uh, we like to keep the ball in so we can do with it. So I think that Friday night, that um, started off a bit slow, but when we started going, uh, it was like a bunch of Pistons running on point, so it was good. You know, Cristobal, you mentioned something there that I want to talk about, keeping the ball. And that's what I noticed about your squad. Head coach Joe Perolini and his staff have done a wonderful job. You guys are, are understanding that it's not a kick-and-run type of game. It's possession. It's looking. It's being relaxed. And I saw that from a bunch of your players, uh, whether it was Hilton Pelea, uh, whether it was, uh, uh, you know, so many other players on that team. Diamond Simpson, who was a rock back there, you guys were all all on the same page yeah for sure um joe definitely emphasizes just making smart decisions when you have it and not necessarily complicating things but um we have a couple older players you know that like to dance on the ball a little bit so that's probably as crazy as we're gonna get but um for the most part we're a possession oriented team just trying to make the best decisions we can uh, <laughs> tap, get an easy tap in and you take the possessions and you make sure that the decisions are right decisions. They're not decisions that put your teammates in, in, in a spot where they've got two or three people on them. And, and, and they're decisions that you know already, and I'm sure that's been drilled in your head in training session after training session. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, we're all getting along pretty well, so you never want to put your buddy in a bad situation to try to take on three or four people. So uh, even if it does get to that point, we just try to, get a quick touchback and reset as quickly as we can to um, get a, just an, a better opportunity and easier chance to score goals. Christabel, you're named an All-Star in League One Ontario All-Star game coming up against the Quebec All-Stars. It should be a wonderful night. It's a wonderful accomplishment for you, uh, for your squad. You're going with, uh, as well, Jessica Lisi, and that should be outstanding to have her there as well. And to me, I think this is great for League One Ontario, the women's uh, competition. Talk about being selected as an All-Star. Uh, it's quite an honor, actually. Um, I didn't actually ex wasn't really expecting too much. Not gonna lie, just trying to help out some of the younger players on my team here and do what I can to help us win a League One championship this year. But uh, yeah, it's definitely an honor, and to be playing with a couple of my teammates here as well as gonna be in the game, and uh, it's just pretty cool. Talk about the Derby coming up against Vaughn. That should be lights out great. I understand that a lot of supporters from both sides will be out to watch that. No love lost between the two in this Derby coming up. Talk about it. Oh, absolutely not. I'm actually just from Brampton, so I didn't grow up in this Vaughn-Woodbridge Derby match or anything, but my first game with Woodbridge was, was quite, it was quite the, the matchup, very physical, not a lot of room to do too much, so it's definitely going to be a good game and hopefully Woodbridge comes out with three points. Let's talk about some of the competition in League One Ontario in the women's division. I mean, you got uh, a, a lot of teams that have really improved this year in, in, in the second year, and you've also got some newcomers that have joined in. Talk about what you've enjoyed going up against this year. Um, some good games that I enjoy playing in for sure are uh, Durham, North Miss, Vaughn, and now London. London has quite a good team coming from out west there, and uh, it is definitely... Definitely an intense match when we played them, and um, both teams came out ready to win. So it ended up being a good one. Yeah, we have a little rivalry with Durham that started up just last season, so it's always nice to play them. It's always a tough game. And North Miss uh, is also always a good team, as well as uh, um, Vaughn there. So, yeah, the competition's actually gotten quite better, and to me it's just fun. Who doesn't want to get up for the big games? Absolutely. Christabel, talk about Brampton. You mentioned you come from Brampton. It is an unbelievable place to develop young players, men and women, so many to name that have gone on to success, uh, whether in Europe, NCAA, you name it, the men's and women's national team of Canada. Talk about what's in that water in Brampton and, and what clubs did you play for growing up there and who helped you along this path of yours? 
Um, well, I started off in Brands United Soccer Club, so uh, we were at the time just a good, good team, biggest competition was Mississauga, so there was always a lot of back and forth going on. But, um, yeah, like you said, Branson just produced a lot of very quality, quality players, and they, it's crazy. You don't really you don't really see it until you're a little bit older, but you got myself, you got Keisha Buchanan, Ashley Lawrence, Kyle Lair, and people Hutchinson, they, the list goes on. There's a lot of uh, star-studded players coming out of there, even – a lot of kids in college, like Alex Hallis, say over in Arizona, and it, it's it's going to be, I don't know, Brampton's is a hotbed right now, so we're just going to try to take advantage of it and see where we can end up later on. Cristobal, just before we let you go, who do you want to thank out there that's helped uh, you along this great path of yours? Uh, is there a, a parent, a sibling, a coach that believed in you, someone that is always in touch with you, even when maybe you didn't have a great game, and maybe uh, they patted you on the back and say, hey, there's a, another game in a couple days. Uh, I'm right behind you. Who are those people that believed in you? Uh, definitely my mom and dad um, always with me, you know, just letting me know if I don't have a good game, just move on and get better with the next one. Don't hang your head too low and don't keep your head too high. Just kind of keep your head on straight and um, stay humble and all that. And uh, Ali Dua coached me for Dixie when I played there. And then my university coach, Brooks Monaghan. It's just a lot of support I've gotten throughout the years and it's really helped me get to where I've gotten now. Christabel, good luck in the All-Star game. Enjoy the moment. Well-deserved and good luck the rest of the way with the Woodbridge Strikers as well. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.